one of the most talented, one of the most prolific. When you talk about an actor, you always talk about them in terms of being one among a number of similarly talented people. But what do you do when the actor in question is the only one of his kind? I'm talking about Prakash Raj. Prakash Raj is one of the most... There I go again. Let's do this another way. Here are the top five Prakash Raj moments on screen. A caveat, these are my favorite moments. Uh, for someone who's had literally hundreds of screen credits uh, to his name, you probably have your own list of favorites, but these are mine. Let's begin. Asai, 1995. This is the era of uh, creased baggy pants, uh, trimmed moustaches, and uh, Kamal Hassan hairstyles. Deva burst onto the music scene with this uh, album. <laughs> But I am Echo. The biggest revelation of this movie, Asai, was the kind of villain that Prakash Raj brought to the screen. Now, there are typically two kinds of villains. The, the obviously villainous kind of villains and the others who are uh, really pious until the twist and you realize they're bad guys. Boring. Prakash Raj brought the kind of villain who could be charming. Hello? could be thoughtful, Hello. could be so psychotic, could freak you out. Most impactful scenes of Prakash Raj on screen were the ones in which uh, uh, the other actors couldn't see his reactions, but just you, the audience, could. Take a look at this. This is my purse. Where is the purse? Which the purse? You have your purse. You have stolen my purse. Chori? And I? I am eating here and eating and you don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to leave me. I'm going to leave me. Then there's a Telugu movie, Antafpuram, for which he won a national award. There's this book called uh, Not Without My Daughter. Uh, the story of an American woman who's taken to her husband's Iranian hometown and uh, is trapped there. She can't come out. The story is very similar, but uh, Antakpuram takes it a few notches higher. It's set in uh, Telangana, which is riddled by, uh, you know, factions and a caste system and all that. What was most striking in this movie is Prakash Raj's immersion into this role. It's very difficult for someone who's not from the area to familiarize himself with that accent. Prakash Raj doesn't always do it really well. But you can see that he can uh, get away with it by sheer force of uh, will and emotion that he brings uh, to the screen. And the best part is that he's able to evoke a similar sense of commitment or emotion from his co-actors. Look at this one scene, which he goes no holes barred, starts beating up uh, Saundarya. Her reaction vindicates what Prakash Raj does on screen. <laughs> You saw explosive. How's this for subtle? Iddaru or Iruvar. Maniratnam's magnum opus set in the cinematic world and dangerous world of Tamil Nadu politics. Prakash Raj uh, plays a politician. He gets uh, to quote poetry. He gets to make speeches. He gets to romance the book. My favorite scene, which I think captures what he does on screen, is in the middle of a speech, MGR, sorry, Mohan Lal, walks on stage and steals his thunder. Look at his reaction. Let's face it. Vijay owes a lot to Mahesh Babu. Gilly, I think, was a turning point in his uh, career and then a few years later, Pokili. But both these actors owe a lot to Prakash Raj because without him, their uh, you know star moments would have fallen flat. Their repartees wouldn't have happened at all. Now, Gilly uh, or Okadu, it's full of masala mass moments. But uh, I think in the Tamil version, the Chalon, it takes the cake. Hi, Chalon! But what is really curious in this movie is that uh, in the 2000s and uh, right from the uh, middle 1990s, we had this time-honored tradition of uh, importing villains from up north because they take care of themselves better. They're actually convincing as bad guys. They're, uh, they're really beefed up. They look strong. Prakash Raj was actually a physical villain in Gilly, apart from being a schemer or whatever it is. He ripped off the nerve attack from Indian and he was still convincing. <laughs> He fought the final battle with Mahesh Babu and uh, uh, Vijay, who've uh, you know put to rest much bigger villains, and he's still convincing. This is my favorite. Uh, 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 uh. 
I have a feeling that uh, Prakash Raj is a comedian at heart. Look at his timing. It lands perfectly every time, almost obsessively so. And I think that's a comedian's forte. Mori, I wouldn't say it's an underrated film, but I think it's quintessential Prakash Raj. He's very breezy in it. It's very easy. It comes very naturally to him. Uh, take this scene, uh, for example, when he tells uh, his friend Prithviraj that he finally made a move to win his girlfriend. Move being an understatement. So na, I'm not sure what to do. Sorry, son. எனக்கும் பல்பெரிஞ்சதுடா மணி கூட அடிச்சது அண்ட் ஃபைனலி திஸ் வேர்ட்லெஸ் ஜென் ஆஃப் காமெடி